Hey guys, I'm back with the follow-up video for the new red dot on the M16A5 clone, the semi-automatic clone. And we have the uh, headshot group here. Uh, here's the headshot group using the uh, good old American Eagle M, uh, M or American Eagle uh, 223 AE 223 ammunition using the M16A5 clone. And the distance up here is about 29 yards. And today is Sunday. We have relative uh, uh, like light, light wind right now. And in order for me to dial in the uh, new uh, red dot using the one inch uh, high riser attached to the red dot, I had to turn the, um, the top elevation up 15 clicks and I had to turn it right two clicks right there for that. So on my specific upper, the M16A4 upper, we had to turn it up 15 clicks using the one inch uh, high riser attached to the new uh, red dot here for that. So there is the uh, accuracy shot right here, three shot group. And the elevation is uh, about, I'd say about, you know, call about a half inch to three quarters of an inch high. So that's my relative good shot group right there for that. Windage is almost dead on right there for that. So at a close quarters distance, I'd say between like 25 and 50 yards, this thing should be quite uh, accurate here for that setup. So this has been the uh, quick range video. 29 yards with the distance. Uh, good old cheap American Eagle AE223 using the M16A5 clone. And today is Sunday the 7th. And as I said before, we had to um, turn up the uh, elevation of about 15 clicks up and uh, two clicks to the right in order to dial the, dial the actual optic in. Because whenever I was originally using it, uh, it was hitting like way down here on the actual thing. I had to shoot that thing up on here. I, I couldn't believe how many clicks I had to turn up on it because my um, primary arms and even my um, cheap, um, you know, called the um, Bushnell, it was usually hitting somewhere down here. It only took about maybe eight to 10 clicks, but this one took about 15 clicks to get it dialed in. So we'll go down and check on the gun right now. <coughs> Okay, go down and check on a gun here. Make sure everything looks good on a gun here. I love putting red dots on most of my stuff because having iron sights on her, it's it's okay and stuff like that. But the thing is, if you want better accuracy, you gotta put a red dot on your gun. So here's the ammunition we're using up here today. Good old uh, 2020 production, Federal. Good old American Eagle cheap 223 55 grain stuff guys so that stuff worked great no problem good to go and the optic optics on a gun now everything's dialed in that's what it looks like on the side the elevation cap is still off I have it set on the uh, number two setting for the brightness right now because we have like a slight overcast up here so uh, the uh, brightness is quite uh, quite good up here for this thing so I didn't have to turn it up any higher than number two on the actual setting on here for that so it seems like it has a, a very fine control for the actual um, you know call setting or the, say the actual dimmer setting so whenever you're going from one to like ten on there so it has a nice jump for the uh, elevate or nice jump for the actual brightness increase on her for that so this is what the red doll looks like again here this is the AT3 tactical with the uh, one inch uh, UTG high rise. This is the one inch part number RS10 S and Sam number three. I got the high riser off of eBay for about it's like seven bucks, and I got this one for about 65 bucks off of eBay. So you're looking at probably about 70, it's about 65 plus seven, so that's about 72 bucks right there, give or take with the tax and the um, you know nominal shipping fee, about like one to two bucks right there for that. So it's a pretty good deal uh, for a cheap red dot on top of your flat top M16A4 clone style weapon right there for that, which I have right here. And this is the uh, my preferred weapon here, the M16A5 clone. Got the Voltar stock on here. Uh, Voltar A5 lower on here attached to the M16A4 surplus upper. So everything ran great guys today, no problems, no hiccups, no malfunctions. The uh, Geisley bolt carrier continues to run great. Got the Geisley bolt carrier in here. Let me show you that here again. Get this out of the way here forced. Okay. Here we go. There's a Geisley name. Right. Let me see if I can get a better shot here for you. There you go. Good old Geisley. Stress proof bolt. And that's their preferred uh, top of line bolt care group. That bolt care runs perfectly fine, guys. I never had a single hitch, uh, you know, any, any kind of hitch or problem with it yet. Triggers run great as well, too, guys. No problem with that. Bolt carriers run great, and the buffer system, got the H4 buffer in there. I got the Geisley Super 42 rifle length buffer in there. That's running great. Got perfect 4 o'clock ejection. 
and the Voltar A5 uh, enhanced stock right here also runs great as well too guys so everything works perfectly fine this gun right here as of today which is uh, Sunday and uh, I can't really say anything else other than that uh, the weapon runs perfectly fine so anybody has any comments questions whatnot about that specific setup uh, feel free to drop me a message here and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible with some kind of a basic uh, answer to your question if you may have a comment or question about this setup guys I'll see you have a nice day